yo what is going on y'all welcome back again to the next part of our shopify tutorial and in this video we will be covering our payments tab within our settings so of course before we get into this video there's three things i need y'all to do for me number one hit the subscribe button down below that way you all will be notified whenever i post new videos secondly be sure to join our facebook group sublimation cove hit that link down below in the description when you get in there we talk about the topic of sublimation and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of sublimation inc or payment inc for your business hit that link down below as well and we'll get it sent out to you immediately immediately so the next step that we want to do is we are still on our settings home screen we want to click right here on payments now when you click on payments this is going to pop up the honestly the only two that i do is shopify payments and paypal i have seen people take apple pay take amazon pay and take pretty much um a few other payment options but the most widely used one is going to be either Shopify payments or PayPal, maybe Apple Pay too. A lot of people do use that, but I just don't use it. All right. So Shopify payments and PayPal. I know a lot of people will be like, hey, you know, what's the differences? Which one pay faster? You know, so on and so forth. PayPal is going to pay faster than Shopify payments. So when you first set up your account and you get a sale, once you start getting sales over time, they're going to come up with an algorithm to be like, OK, this is normal for them to, you know, be able to make, you know, this much amount of money um, a day, you know, a week, a month and so on and so forth. So they'll go ahead and release the funds pretty much as soon as the person pay. Now, if you just launch like a crazy sale or something like that and you're making like 10 times or 20 times or 50 times normally, well, yeah, no more then what you normally make then that'll be different then they'll be like okay you know you normally don't do this we're gonna go ahead and hold these funds for either up to 21 days or until you ship the item and the item is showing as delivered and then they'll release the money but until then you have to, you're gonna have to wait for either one all right um and then you have shopify payments Shopify payments is pretty much they're going to be entering in their credit card information directly on your website, but they're going to be using uh, Shopify payments as your payment processor. So you'll get the money with Shopify payments. However, it may take two days for it to get to you because they have to pay. It goes into this big pool of uh, money that's going to be paid out. And then when it says in transfer and then it's going to go to paid and then you'll receive it later on that uh, night. All right. Well, after, of course, it says paid, you'll receive it later on on that night. But it could take like two days for it to get to you. And that's after two days after they pay. So for us, we are going to go to complete account setup. And hold on before we click on that, as you all can see, these are all the accepted payments that they can take through Shopify payments and Apple Pay. Is right there, all right? So they can take your Visa, MasterCard, Amex, Discover, JCB, uh, Dinner's Club, or di yeah, Diner's Club, I'm sorry, uh, Elo, Shop Pay, Apple Pay, and Google Pay. But majority of people are gonna be using the Visa or the MasterCard. So from here, we're gonna click on Account Setup. So you have your business type. I'm not going to go over that because that is a completely separate video. If you want to know about the various business types that are out there, um, especially here in the United States, you can go on uh, YouTube or Google and it will tell you what are the differences between them and what are the benefits, what are the pros and cons of each one. So for majority of people, we are going to be doing an individual slash sole prop and at most maybe a single member LLC. So we'll just have that selected. Next up is going to be your employer identification number. So that is a, in layman's terms, it is a social security number for your business. Just like you as an individual have a social security number, a business has one too. So if you go to irs.gov, you can go in there and you can apply for an EIN for your business. So if you have an LLC, you can get an EIN for it. Um, if you're uh, possibly a doing business as possibly, I'm not 100% certain, like I said, you can get on YouTube or get on Google and research that for yourself. All right. 
So this is where you would type that in if you have one. After that, you have your street address. Uh, it's missing our PO box. So we're going to add that right here. We have our city, zip code, state. We're good on that. Scroll down to your personal details. I have my first name, last name. Put in your date of birth right here and the last four digits of your social security number right here as well. And they said this information is required to verify your identity, to verify who you are. After that, let's come down to product details. This is a very extensive list. I'm not going to waste your time trying to go through it and everything. So I'm going to just put clothing and accessories and go down to other clothing and accessories and put custom made items. After that, we are going to go to our customer billing statement. So edit the way your store name and phone number appears on your customer's bank statements. So pretty much when they pay for an item and you know whatever else they're gonna be using a card for, uh, and they go on the app or they get the um, their statement in the mail, you know, it's going to have your stuff on there because they paid you for an order. So it's going to show up. So how it shows up, you can be able to change it right here. So right here, I definitely recommend leaving your company name there. And if you do have an LLC, be sure to add LLC right here as well. And then over here, your phone number, just leave that there. It'll show up there as well. Next up is going to be banking information. Your funds will be deposited into this bank account. Remember, we are in the payments portion um, of this. All right, we are in the payments portion. So with that, this is dealing with payments on how you get paid. This is not necessarily billing. There's another setting for that, and we'll talk about that later. So from here, you're going to put your routing number right there. You're going to put your account number right here. And then down here, you have what is awesome all right i love this option so it says enjoy hassle-free bill payments with shopify balance so what this does is let's say you send out uh, um let's say you send out an order and you have to pay for shipping for that order instead of them pulling the shipping money directly from your debit card every time you you know have to ship out an item if you have an available balance on shopify because somebody paid using shopify payments it'll pull the balance from that pool of money versus you having to pay for the shipping uh directly out of your pocket right there at that moment so i definitely recommend leaving this checked so from there once you have all that information typed in you're going to click complete account setup and it should take it in all right so from here we are going to go back and i'll honestly do that later just not on screen because i'm not going to share my information out there with the world like that now next up you have a paypal so we come right here to complete account setup and you enter in your email address uh enter an email address to sign up or log in so let's do forever songs 100 at gmail.com we'll hit next and of course you have to go through the information of entering your password putting your legal information and all that stuff so i will do that later um definitely just not on camera so we will exit out of this and we are back in here and once you've done all of that this stuff right here is going to change and you won't have to come back in here unless you're changing you know how you want to get paid you're changing your um uh banking information if you're going from a sole prop to a llc and now you have to go from a regular bank account to a bank account that's you know started with an llc so then you have to come back in here and update that information to change over your routing number and your account number but for the most part that's it for this section so we go back and when we go back we are back in our initial screen for our settings all right so that pretty much wraps up that tab for payments i will see you all in the very next video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel also be sure to join our facebook group sublimation cove if you want to learn about sublimation that link will be down below as well and last but not least we are the owners of cosmos inc so if you need any type of sublimation inc or payment inc for your business hit that link down below too and we'll get it sent out to you all right so i will see you all in the very next video angelo out